All right, so here we have the Orbit. Uh, this is the four port uh, XD um, hose and sprinkler timer. Uh, this is um, the four port one. They do have a two port and a one port as well. Uh, so just know that this is the most you can get, but you can get a single or a double too. Uh, all the features are going to be the same and they all work the same with the, uh, the Beehive system. Now the Beehive system is a little bit interesting in that you have both the option for local Bluetooth operation as well as a Wi-Fi operation if you add in the hub. Um, it took me a while to understand this when I was first shopping for um, these sprinkler timers, but you do not need the hub in order to use these. You can just use it as a standalone sprinkler timer with Bluetooth and everything that you do in Bluetooth can also be done on the device. So even if you do not have a phone or don't know how Bluetooth works, you can program it the old fashioned way just using the button and the dial right here. So you have completely local, you've got Bluetooth from nearby, and then you can add on the Wi-Fi hub um, and then you can use these timers to trigger from pretty much anywhere. So um, it goes over Wi-Fi, it's gonna go over the internet. So whether you're on vacation or uh, you know, you're know you around town and you see a rainstorm coming in or something like that, you could change your settings or rain delay or anything that you need to um, from your phone. So uh, obviously we like these so much, I actually bought a uh, another one of these recently. So um, we bought this with our own money because we like the system. Uh, so you'll see where this review is going. All right, so let's talk about some of the features on the Orbit um, Beehive 4 port. So uh, the first one is gonna be, you got the brass inlet with the filter. You always wanna make sure you have metal connections for your um, anything on a hose port. Don't get plastic ones if you can avoid it. Uh, brass is the preferred because it's going to be um, the most resistant against any type of corrosion. You can get um, things like stainless steel and aluminum. Stainless does not mean stain proof. It just means stainless. Stainless steel does still rust. So that is why brass is very nice as far as an option for water. All right, um, going through the features here. It is a kind of a chunky unit. Um, it doesn't weigh too much though. It is mostly plastic in construction. You got some nice uh, kind of rubberized components on it. The unit runs on two AA batteries. I do recommend using rechargeable ones and it is in a kind of a gasket lined little compartment there. So water will not get into there. Uh, we'll go down to the live one here. As far as programming goes, you've got your selector knob here. You see how that arrow moves up and down. And then to select, you just push in. So if I wanted to say, uh, let's do, let me change my zone to one I'm not using. So we use zone three right here, and I wanna change it from one minute. I push into select, and see now I can move it up to, We'll do 10 minutes, or if I keep turning really fast, we can go into, keep going, keep going. I mean, you you can really crank this guy up. Uh, most people are probably not gonna be watering more than three hours out of a hose, um, but there you go. You can see how high up you can go. Um, once we hit four hours, you're getting kind of ridiculous. Um, there we go. So four hours, right there. So uh, once we set that, I can push in. And then I can change, see so you're blinking there, so that's your selection again. Go down and I can pick, do I want it to happen every hour, three hours, six hours, 12 hours, one day, two day, three day, et cetera. So you can change your days there. Now I will say you have a few more options on the app than you have on the device, but for any kind of basic programming, uh, there's definitely nothing you, can, you can't do here for the basic stuff. Once you have that all set, as soon as you click out of it, it will be saved. Um, I'll clear that off after, after the demo. All right, so in terms of the features and usability, uh, knob right here, very well constructed, very solid click. You're gonna know when you press it. Same thing with the rubberized zone selection button. Overall construction is pretty good. It is plastic, um, so do keep that in mind. Don't hit it with things because it's plastic. Um, all right, so the big, the big thing that everybody always talks about is the threads on the bottom. Um, so 
done a lot of research on sprinkler timers and very few are going to have uh, metal outlets on the bottom. Uh, there are a couple that exist. They definitely don't do four port ones. Um, so if you are looking for a four port, you're pretty much out of luck. This is the only four port that even exists um, that's going to allow for things like a Wi-Fi adapter to run it from anywhere. And then the other ones are also not going to have metal outlets. So you're pretty much plastic outlet for, for four port no matter what. Um, as far as this plastic goes, it is actually pretty strong. Um, I obviously wouldn't torque down steel onto it, but it does seem to take the brass ones really well. Uh, obviously, you could use a plumber's tape or something like that if you did start threading one of these down. Um, but we've had no issues. The whole idea is you're not taking things on and off all the time. If you were really, really worried about it, um, you can get an adapter for PVC, put a PVC one on here, and then put a metal outlet yourself. That's an option for people who are absolutely crazy about, you know, just all the seals on their irrigation and are going to be taking the hose on and off a lot. Outside of that, um, if you are basically setting this up and then walking away, which is the whole point of automated irrigation is to not be messing with this every single day, um, you're not going to have any problems. Uh, as long as you're not constantly um, taking things off, putting things on and really torquing them down this is going to last you no problem. Again, that's why we bought another one because I don't ever want to have to put hoses on or off ever again. So um, do appreciate the overall build quality and value for um, what these guys are. The convenience factor is huge, uh, especially during the heat of summer. You're going to want to be watering every morning and a quick spritz in the evening to cool it off. Now, you're not going to walk out at 4 a.m., to water your lawn and you're not going to take time off of dinner every single day to cool it off for 15 minutes you're especially not going to move hoses around so the only way to do that appropriately is with a timer like this so that is the orbit beehive uh four port uh sprinkler and hose timer